What's up, guys? I uh, hadn't had a video in a couple weeks, but been really busy getting pickers and combines ready after we poured that slab, the grain bin. But we've had a uh, I don't know, 10 or 12 days without a whole lot of rain, maybe maybe 10, 8 to 10. Anyway, may not set in cutting corn full fledged, but um, we're going to at least sample it. We're going to at least get a grain tank full and uh, get a couple good tests. You can only do so much from walking out there and Getting, uh, put this in low gear real quick, but uh, getting, you know, just shoving them off the ear and uh, getting a sample like that, we're going to cut up at least a combine load uh, in this, I think, April 14th. We're planting corn April 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th, and planting 750 acres, and there's a forecast to bring. Thursday and Friday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday this week. It's Monday, Labor Day, so we'll try to do a little head start, get some acres knocked out, make it all cut, I don't know. I don't know how everything holds up. How we get going. I'm about to hook up this header real quick, see what we make out of it. in the brick rig.
right, everything going smooth so far. Made a round with Gilbert on the buggy. May make a few more rounds. He may have it, may not. He cut a uh, one buggy load with the 670. It's not cutting great, but we're up here on a little hill. I'm gonna move the dump trailer over in the field, make it a little easier for the buggy to dump. Moisture reading about 16.8 right then, so. Should be all right, get some fans on it. Gets any higher now, we'll check it here in a little bit. That was the first grain tank full, so. This truck in the field, keep on going. get us another sample real quick. Uh, Gilbert went back to get the other buggy and uh, Cooper came in with another truck. We about got that back one loaded that I brought down here. He uh, he borrowed a skid steer from us this afternoon for a couple hours. We thought we'd uh, he said let him know if we needed anything. Anybody else is working. Figured we get him to earn his keep. Right on the back and uh, plastic can of corn. Anyway, got this uh, moisture tester. I'm gonna run back real quick and check it in that truck that we did load, get a couple samples out of it. That one was 17.3, but we think ours, when we calibrated it, it might have been a percent or more, or half a percent to a percent off. Anyway, 
about to get a couple more samples to go wrap. And have at least one load of corn. Uh, this one should load, like I said, this, this one should load the uh, truck I brought down here and let Cooper ease back with that one. And hopefully we'll be able to uh, cut, fill both buggies up, the other truck, get two trucks, two buggies, which will essentially be three trucks and more. Almost four truck loads, almost 4,000 bushels cut. So. Yep. Keep rolling. Let's get these samples and see what they say. Don't want to get nothing too wet. Have to dry it or it's not the end of the world to dry it. We can get it up to like 19 and dry it. 19, don't really want to cut any 20. So anyway, here we go. Show me the screen. It was far enough apart to be different. combine we're augering off the uh, last little bit of corn I'm gonna leave this crank to hang in as you can see still got corn in the header we took the belt off it's the header speed belt not a big deal we had usually have one we have one for the 9870 didn't have one for that combine Not a big deal. Sun's done set. We got a few acres of corn cut. Truck load plus a little more. So day one in the books shelling corn. We'll get a belt bright and early tomorrow morning at the John Deere place, hopefully. And I'm going to tarp this buggy, stick my auger up in the air just in case it comes a little shower. And we'll be ready. Put that belt on and cut the rest of this corn. Make it another combine at it. We have enough trucks running. See what happens. Thanks for watching.